So I want to try something new, but the profit margins are tight, so I want to try to, try to make sure that I don't fail. So I'll go, to, I'll go to any kind of event, and I've gone to any kind of event that's put on about soil health. And what I've, what I've seen happen at these events is they'll have uh, a panel, uh, whether a big panel or a small panel, but they'll have a panel that has some technical people on it that are talking about new methods, new techniques. And, and that's, that's important and very interesting to me. But what, what gives me the courage to try these new things are the producers that they've got on the panel. There will be farmers and ranchers sitting on that panel that are saying, yes, these folks over here are talking about the weed suppression they've, used, they've noticed by using certain crops and cover crops, and I've done that, and, and it works like that. That's, that's the way it works. So the producer addresses my fear. The technical people address the intellectual aspects that I need to, to help me make the transition, but it's really the producer on the panel that pushes me over the edge by saying, yes, I've done that, and it works. And when I go to a number of these events, I build up a network of these kinds of producers. So if kind I run like in, a support system. Exactly. You bet. Exactly. And I use it. You know, I'll, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you start out with a half a dozen people that you know or uh, that you just met that are doing these kind of uh, practices. And if you run into a glitch, you give them a call and you say, hey, uh, what's going on here? And, and most of them are more than willing to talk you through what they've done and, and how to make changes. Uh, in South Dakota here, the NRCS has put together a list of about 80 volunteers called the Voices for Soil Health. And these people have, have been asked to be a voice for soil health. And they've, they've said that, yes, I would be willing to talk with people about what I'm doing and, and how, how this works and mistakes that, that I've made and how I've solved them. And all you need to do is get a hold of NRCS and they'll connect you with the, with the right person in this Voices for Soil Health. It's a support mechanism to help us through the, the scary spots. You gotta look at it a long, as a long-term investment, okay? You're gonna start doing some no-till, and you're gonna see some good things, and you're gonna see some bad things, okay? And the bad things are gonna take care of themselves as you start doing this and learn more about it. But you need to look at the things that you don't like as well and say, okay, how do I change this and make this work?